that the police can be held accountable, which is something that I think is, is so important, particularly right now. In this case in Baltimore, a jury convicted police officers who were breaking the law. And people in Baltimore knew the story from local coverage, but this was an effort to make the story more widely known. Uh, because at the end of the day, I didn't want to write just another bad cop story. Um, I wanted to write a story about how we searched for and found the truth. And the truth in, in this case really was a destination that we couldn't see at first. And we didn't even know how we were going to get there. And I say that in part because of the way the case started. And if I could just have the next slide. The case started with a phone call. And I got asked to come to a meeting that I didn't even know what the purpose of it was. And when I got to a conference room in the US Attorney's Office, it was filled with drug investigators, not the kind of cases I handled. And what they described was how they were investigating a, a drug organization that operated here in Baltimore around the Alameda. And they had a theory, and it was, it was just a theory at first, that this drug organization was able to stay ahead of law enforcement because it had a cop protecting the drug dealer. And so we got a wiretap on the drug dealer's phone and we put a GPS tracking device on his car. And then we got the first big break in the case. He happened to bring the car into a garage here in Baltimore and they found the tracker. And when I say it was a breakthrough, it's because of what he did next. Um, he picked up the phone, as you might expect, but who he called uh, was so important. He called a police officer named Mamadou Gondo and he told him the thing it's lit. And we knew what the thing was,